Hey guys, we've just added GPS to the quad. You can see it instead of action camera. And we are covering the process in the video. And now we are doing some test flights to see GPS rescue and see how it, GPS can potentially save your quad. For the first flight, let's try to trigger GPS rescue. Let's fly a little bit further from where I am. Let's see where I am. I'm over there. Let's turn around and let's try GPS rescue. So I'm going up a little bit, 10 meters up. And now we are going to direction of myself. Ah, landed now. Nice. Super. Let's say I am a bit further away. Yeah, I am out here. But now I am actually triggering proper failsafe. Eric's loss. Yep, we are going up. Now, looking at where we are and trying to get home which is okay as expected i would say all good coming close coming close here i am it's behind my back great thank you so much I'll speak to microphone when I have a chance. So I think that worked perfectly fine. I think we are good with GPS and GPS rescue. At this point, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Your likes and comments are also much appreciated. We will now jump into some technical details of installing GPS and going through beta flight configuration. So if it's something interesting for you, please stay tuned. Also, I would like to remind you that all parts used in this build are linked in the description down below. To install GPS on a quad, we need the following. Uh, we need GPS module itself. It's Voxnail WSM one to one module. We need some wire harness, which is coming with GPS module. I also 3D printed some TPU. It's not my design. I got it from printables.com. I'll put link in the descriptions and kudos to the author of this 3D print. And the idea is we will put it this way on a frame instead of action camera i do really like this way of mounting gps is relatively safe and it's less interaction from uh, vtx antenna as to the module we have six wires tx rx ground 5 volts and i2c uh, wires sda and scl which are used for uh, i think barometer and compass on the GPS. The plan is we'll just install the module into TPU. We have wires, we just put wire harness into it and the wires will go through XT60 hole uh, into the flight controller. There are pods specially designed on SpeedDB flight controller. It's uh, that set of pods to hold GPS, exactly six pods, 40X, RX, 5 volts, um, ground, SDA and SC. <laughs> GPS and check quickly with beta flies the GPS is ok and working. I'm not removing props because I'm not going to plug a battery. GPS should work from uh, 5 volts from USB. Let's put it here and see if there is any sign of GPS being alive. 
I can't see any lights in here. Let's go and check what do we have in beta flight. For the beta flight, we just click connect. We've soldiered our um, GPS to UART5, so we just need to go and select that the guy is used for GPS, save and reboot. Then go to configuration. Okay, so we don't, GPS was automatically added because it found GPS. Now we can quickly go to GPS tab and see. Okay, so we are getting satellites, uh, looks good. So now we can go and put the top plate and set up some GPS rescue on our quad. Also, a few hints here, so you can go to GPS tab and uh, after config, use Galileo and set home point once. It's up to you actually on this setting, whether to set your home point when you plug battery or uh, each time you arm the quad, but use Galileo. Uh, it's actually something which can be helpful. GPS rescue setup is not the topic of today's video. I have a full video dedicated to it and I will link it onto cards above and in the video description down below. But what we will do, we will go and bind some aux switches. We will do GPS rescue. We'll do add range, auto and my switch, aux 3. And it will be the whole switch. Save here. Then we go to uh, fail safe tab. We will say GPS rescue. Uh, we will put throttle set 1500 and angle set 1500. Save and reboot. What will happen now if uh, we are activating failsafe, uh, angle mode is automatically reactivated and quad aligns itself and then on the next step it's going to do a throttle pump for the amount of uh, one and a half seconds just to give you control if it's somewhere beyond the trees. If no, GPS rescue falls on stage two. And we went through the, all those parameters in, uh, previously, so I'll just put some settings for easy uh, GPS rescue testing. 10 meters OK, 30 altitude, hours 1 will be current altitude. For OSD tab, we've added a couple of parameters, home direction, uh, number of satellites, ground speed, uh, distance from home and altitude. It's just a matter of check boxes in here. Uh, I'll add full CLI dump in the video description so you can just uh, copy paste it and uh, run the dumping from your CLI so you're not doing it manually or alternatively you can just go and pick uh, each field and drag it into your screen. One thing which probably worth mentioning, so if you want magnetometer, if you want to use compass and you can try to enable it, but uh, it's not enabled by default. So what needs to be done, you know, need to go to CLI, do full dump, just a backup. Copy to clipboard and paste somewhere in a text file or so. Then you go to update firmware tab, select our SPDB flight controller. And in this uh, box, you also add magnetometers. So your compass will be there and just do load firmware. Ignore the risk because we've already copied flashing uh, our hardware. Uh, 
seems to be good here but uh, after the uh, hardware after uh, we refreshed beta flight everything is wiped out all our settings so even uh, accelerometer calibration so we need to go to cli and put our dump Now, if we go to configuration tab, we have magnetometer enabled. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next videos.